In today's video, we're gonna talk about two ways that you can get into Helium 5G. All right, so I wanna give a quick disclaimer. I am viewing Helium 5G as very, very speculative. There's no price to the Helium mobile token quite yet. The entire project is very, let's say, up in the air. Uh, but no, in, in reality, I wanna make sure that you guys know that like, this is a, I am viewing this through the lens of being very speculative and we're, we're taking a chance. It is a, a pretty decent gamble with the cost of the hardware or to getting into it. So I wanted to give you guys that quick disclaimer before we continue. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about two ways that you can get into Helium 5G. Over the last few months, I've been learning as much as I can about Helium 5G. And I've kind of learned there's two avenues that we can go. Now I've been actually trying both of them to kind of learn as much as I can and share my journey along the way. So the first way is you actually become the operator and owner. You buy all the hardware, you go through the entire install process and you manage and support it the entire way. And there's a lot more entailed with this and we'll get, over, get into that in just a few minutes. The second way, which is I would say the easier way is you become more of an investor. And investor's a strong word. Maybe I should say that you purchase a pre-installed managed unit. So everything's done for you from start to finish. So two ways to get into Helium 5G. Let's dive into each of them. All right, so we're gonna talk about the first way, which is you put on your installer hat and you do everything start to finish. So let's kind of talk a little bit about what that looks like. And maybe you can learn something, take some advice and pick the avenue that works best for you. I'm trying out both of these. Haven't made as much progress as I wanted to on the first one, but we're getting there. So if you decide to go ahead and purchase the hardware, let's let's take a look at kind of some of that hardware that you would purchase. So I'm over on heliumdeploy.io and you're gonna need two different things really. You're going to need your gateway, your 5G, I guess you call it a hotspot, um, which one of the well-known brands is Freedom Fi. That's actually the one that I got from here over at heliumdeploy.io. And then you need a type of radio to really utilize it. Now you could go, I guess, with just doing the small little hotspot, but it's not super profitable. You wanna get one of these bad boy radios and that's the white boxy looking thing that you guys see on the screen. So I went this route as my, my first experience. And so it comes with two pieces of hardware. It comes with, as I said, that gateway. And then it also comes with the Bicell 430H. And that is actually your your radio that you would connect. Now, the radio um, is pretty pricey. If we go ahead and take a look at the breakdown, I mean, you're spending 2,000, so let's say $2,500 total to just get in the door. And that doesn't involve your time, your labor of installing it, um, the headaches, the frustrations, the learning. I'm gonna be getting into that as time goes on. Uh, I have to rent a lift in order to install this radio, to, to, to get it on the side of my house, like it needs to be up really high. So there's definitely a lot to it. So once you buy the hardware, that's the easy part, right? You purchase the hardware and off you go. Well, let's take a look at the installation and Helium Deploy has done a really good job, kudos to their team of giving like install guides. So they actually have people that are local that you can find to do the install, but most of us that are getting into this hobby are, are pretty handy and then willing to take that chance. So the Freedom Fi unit is the easy one to do. And there's a nice step-by-step -step guide here. I will be going through this this week. I haven't had the time, which is so frustrating because it's lost profits. I've purchased this unit. We did a video on getting it in. I just haven't had a chance to get it installed. But this is pretty simple. If you've installed anything with your phone, like um, a traditional Helium, uh, you know, your method, it's really easy to do. So as you go through these, you load up the app, you go through the app, you scan the QR code, you put in the information for your wallet, for your mobile wallet, um, you power on the unit, you set your location. You know, this is very sim uh, similar to the traditional Helium uh, that I think we all love and have mixed feelings on though. Um, you set your antenna strength um, and, you know, then you register the hotspot. And that's pretty typical of an install it's easy anybody can do that i mean really you're just following a guide on your phone it's really until you get to the second part that it definitely becomes a challenge so the second part is the combination of 
installing that buy sells 430h or whatever radio that you do get that's that is what really surprised me and caught me off guard and i wish i would have done more research before we pulled the trigger but here we are right so not only do you have to go through these steps here after you do that with there's a whole radio dashboard and configuration process and stuff and you actually have to submit pictures uh, and i'm going to show you what those pictures are because it's not just like bam bam we're done that first part with the gateway that was the easy part the second part is where it's much more entailed and what i'll show you is like it's walking us through that here but what you actually have to do is go to installation and go to the buy cells install because this is where it's a little tricky so as i learned and kudos to these guys for putting it together so okay you, you take a picture of the serial number and all that types of stuff that's easy right no big deal well now you have to make sure that the unit and i'm learning as i go is set up on the uh, azimuth azimuth angle um yeah, i'm still learning uh so you have to actually download this app and you have to put it on top of the ant the antenna or the radio when it's installed and you're like all right well i could just install it you know and, and hold it somewhere well it's like no you actually have to like be on the ground and then it, and then take a picture of it and mount it up on a roof or at a higher elevation um and then you also have to take pictures of like like here you have to back up and take pictures that show a clear example of the ground and the antenna like they don't want people putting these in like their bedroom windows so they're actually like there is a quality or a a, a a method to this that is a little bit more difficult so you know and then you can power it all on and then you can go through the registration process and even after you do that like if we go back to this process and go to the bottom you know you submit all of these and then you have to wait two to five days for an email that says like yes we have gone ahead like we've given you your confirmation number for your cpi registration and you're good to go and then you start to earn that that mokin um or that mobile uh token or you're going to hear back and be like sorry this isn't going to fly and that's really going to be a challenge and i've heard from several people as i've started to research that the installation process has become under more and more scrutiny especially after like the helium deployment and how many of these were very hodgepodge thrown together not very high quality they're trying especially i think with their 5g partnership with t-mobile that like they're trying to add an enterprise layer to this and i think that's why they're holding these to a high standard so i've learned a lot nothing of mine has been installed yet i haven't scheduled to get a lift yet to do this i plan to but this is much more i mean a lift's going to be 500 bucks for the day so it's like all right my 2500 dollars investment and then i have to do all these additional steps hopefully it works out i need to rent the lift i have to do the install the labor time so now it's like okay there's starting to become an, an additional cost to going ahead and operating this. And it makes you wonder like, is it absolutely worth it? So the second method of getting into Helium 5G is, and I've learned more and more about this as time has gone on. I've asked more questions. I've done more research since my first video because there were a lot of people that came up with questions was purchasing a pre-installed managed unit. And that, that would be, you know, instead of you going ahead and buying it and installing it in your home and stuff like that, there's ones here, the, this website is mokin.io. They have pre-installed managed units. Now, I'll be straightforward. You're not getting, when you buy one of these, you're not getting 100% of the earnings because you're buying a pre-installed managed unit. Instead, there's different, uh, different levels. So you can see there's all different ones in here at all different price ranges. Um, you know, you can come in here under price and you can list it here where like, this one, this first one here, it's only 1600 bucks. So instead of spending 2,500 and then any additional incurred cost you may have, stuff like that, it's $1,600. And it actually shows you like yesterday's earning was 22,000 of the mobile token and you get 65% of it because you're buying a pre-installed managed unit. So like you own it, but you're, you're paying out of the earnings for someone else to maintain it, to manage it, all that types of stuff. So. There's all different layers that are in here. And like, let's say we looked at this one real quick here. This one's actually in New Jersey, which is really cool. And there's, I found these are all over the place. Um, and the Mokin site is actually starting to evolve more and more. I haven't, uh, I, I, it's grown on me a little bit more and more. Like you can see here, you can actually see like 
antenna time like you can see them actually like you can see them installing it it's a really cool process to actually see this like someone actually went through and took all the pictures of this install and here it is right here on this like super high tower and stuff so this is really cool i'm really happy to start to see this like this has evolved significantly more than when i first got into this and started to look at it um but you can see all the different ones out there and i'm going to show you one that i have so let's go over to here and go to profile so i have one here now i have 75 percent of the earnings on this one you can see this one is actually in miramar which if you're a PUBG player and you go florida um, you can see that the average earnings the last 30 days, it shows 10,660 um, daily. And I will get 75% of that. You can see on the right-hand side, 75% of it goes to me. 25% of it goes to the um, installer or, or the, so the people that manage it type of deal. And it shows your average tokens there, as you can see. And, and I've been getting them and it's worked out great. Um, I can actually go to, I think it's under profile. Yeah, right here. It shows I have earned and it's hit my mobile wallet. It's the same wallet that Helium uses, but a second wallet. I have earned 306,256 mobile tokens. Now, are they worth anything at this second? No. So this is where I talked about at the top of the video. This is a massive gamble. This is a massive speculative, speculative mo movement. And I don't know if it's going to end up actually being profitable or not. And that's what makes it super questionable. So if we take a closer look at this some more, you can see all the details here. Like it's actually mined 4,364,808 mobile tokens total because it was mining before I actually purchased it. Shows it's uptime, it's downtime that's in there. Um, so it's really sweet. Like you can actually go ahead and take a look at where it's actually covering. Like 5G is, it, because of the speeds, it's very isolated. Like this doesn't do a huge area, but it's worth it to get this in like a populated area. Uh, and the way that this looks here is it looks like it's almost in a neighborhood. So the nice thing is, is like with partnering with T-Mobile is like, you know, utilizing that. So like, I'm eager to see where it goes. As I said, it could be nothing. It could be something But there's all different, all different avenues that we can really look at. Um, we can view on Explorer. So here is on the Helium Explorer. If you guys follow Helium overall, you're very familiar with this um, and kind of how this is involved. I mean, look at the traditional Helium. I mean, it's everywhere. You can see that it, it's that it is all over the place in this area, uh, and this is just doing a very look at that concentration right there. Holy cow! This is the very very southern tip of Florida, which I love this stuff. I think this is super super cool. Uh, and then on the left hand side, you can see the different radios. I think mine's 1930 1935. So my radio. So each of these 5G gateways have three radios. So here is the one that I have, the 1935. So here it is right here. Uh, and we can see it openly and available. So yeah, so that's where we are. Um, I take a deep breath because it's like, man, these are, it, it, as I said, it's a big gamble. I mean, we don't know what this is going to be when it hits uh, the market. So I think still learning um, everything with mobile, the mobile token is still in the Genesis stage right now. So that's why I'm so interested in it because I'm like, okay, can I get pre-established? Have one of these that is pre-installed and managed and then have one that I physically have, which is a lot more work, but we're gonna get to it, I promise. Um, you know, have two of these up and running and just earning that. And so like when everything launches and even if it's very small profitability to start out, but if it doubles or triples or quadruples or even is anything like helium where it takes off for a short time period and those that got into it early really benefit from it i mean that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for a move that is you know life-changing money you know it, this could be nothing it could be something but it's like all right you know 2500 dollars invested where do we go from there so guys i might have rambled on a little bit i'm learning as we go but these are the two methods that i found to really get into helium 5g now you could go with one of the Freedom 5 5G gateways and they have a little internal antenna, but it does like this much of an area of coverage. And so your earnings are very minimal, but your investment is very minimal as well. So for what you invest into it, it's really what you get out of it. So you could go that route, but I've really enjoyed the traditional Helium project. I've been doing that for about a year and a half now. I've, I've 
done really, really well. I've gone the route of installing it in my attic with the 8DB antenna here and in another location. And I've really enjoyed it and made out well. I mean, it uses barely any watts. The cost for the hardware, totally different than this hardware. It was like 400 bucks plus a $100 antenna. So $500 investment versus this is significantly more, but I've really enjoyed Helium overall. Now I know a lot of people have been burned by it, so I don't blame you, but I'd love to get your thoughts on this. You may know significantly more than I do. So leave some comments down below. Maybe I misspoke. I'm learning as I go. Correct me where, where you guys can, but I've really enjoyed this project. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on it. I know my channel is mostly GPU miners, but I think there's a few Helium heads in there as well. Uh, my next step is to get my freedom Fi installed and done with it's on my list for this week uh, at least for the hotspot gateway the buy sell antenna you have to wait till after tax season before i can go ahead and rent a lift for that and but i can't wait to do that and i'll film it and show you guys and it'll be a lot of fun so if you guys enjoyed today's video give it one of these and i'll see you guys next time take care Bye.